Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Planning, Domain 9. The synopsis of the Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Planning Domain addresses the preservation of the business in the face of major disruptions to normal business operations. We must keep the business going under all circumstances. The business must survive. To do so, this entails business continuity plans, referred to as BCPs, and also disaster recovery plans, DRPs. And this is preparing a plan, testing a plan, keeping all of its specifications current to make sure that critical business functions keep functioning. We're concerned with interruptions to business activities. We want all important functions, processes, applications to always be available to those that need to use them, regardless of any type of failure or disaster. Business continuity is the master umbrella over this whole process. That includes both the IT area as well as the work areas of the business. The disaster recovery plan is IT oriented and this entails procedures for emergency response, backup, post-disaster recovery. Again, key word here, recovery. Business continuity as we continue. Disaster recovery implies that something has happened to do a major interruption, possibly a catastrophe. How do we get back on our feet and resume normal operations as quickly and as effectively as possible? Now, within this context, the knowledge objectives for business continuity and disaster recovery planning include what are the elements of BCP, which would be project scope, a very important area of business impact analysis, recovery strategies, plan development, and implementation of the plan. In the area of disaster recovery planning, which follows the same general pattern, but heavily focused towards the IT area, recovery plan development, plan implementation, and in the event of a major outage or catastrophe, actual restoration. And this is an important area, not just get enough to survive, but enough to resume total normal operations. So our agenda in this domain covers disaster recovery, business continuity planning, first of all, clarifying the definition of what's what. And then what is in this BCP DRP program? A brief look at threat analysis. What are those unwanted activities that could force us to actually have to exercise our disaster recovery or business continuity plan. A key area of activity in managing business continuity is a business impact analysis, a BIA. Once we've done that, and then we can start rolling out our plan as we develop it to make sure we have the ways to go to alternate facilities, alternate routes, whatever we need to do to keep things rolling and to come back to recovery. We need to identify alternate facilities and how we restore ourselves off-site in another location, how we maintain, test our plans, and what are some of the common mistakes that could occur by folks who don't know all the right areas within the topic of business continuity planning. They could overlook critical areas by making unwarranted assumptions. At the end of the chapters, we always do, we'll review the key topics you need to be familiar with for the exam and also have you do some review questions. Gartner, interestingly enough, the day after the infamous 9-1-1 in the year 2001 made the statement, two out of five enterprises that experience a disaster go out of business within five years. Business continuity plans and disaster recovery services ensure continuing viability so that the enterprise always stays in business.